Let's talk about how to prevent headaches if you're flying an airplane. In fact, one out of 12 people experience headaches when they're flying. There are certain things that occur in the brain. You have increase of something called prostaglandins. That's a compound that increases when you have inflammation. And in fact, aspirin works by inhibiting uh, prostaglandins. And when you have more prostaglandins, you have an expansion of your blood vessels in the brain, and that's what causes the pain in your head. So these headaches occur from two situations. Number one, you have this change in pressure when you take off and when you land. Okay, that's number one. And that affects uh, the sinus cavities. And number two, you get this spike in cortisol. Okay, so the cortisol can also produce headaches and anxiety. So we have cortisol, then we have this change in pressure, which affects the sinus cavities. Okay, so what can you do? So the most important thing to do is to completely relax when you fly. There's a very interesting video that I think you should watch if you have a problem relaxing, and I'll put that link down below, where you actively cause the different parts of your body just to relax more and more and more so you don't get on the plane being all really tense and stressed out. Um, another point to acknowledge is that the statistics for deaths uh, when you're on a flight are majorly less than the statistics when you uh, are in car accidents and you die. So if we did a comparison on the stats of flying, there is a 0 0.07 deaths per 1 billion miles okay, of flight. Now if we compare that to cars, that's 7 deaths per billion miles. So you can see there's a significant difference and it's much, much safer flying than riding in a car. All right, motorcycle accidents, we have 212.6 deaths per 1 billion miles, okay? So that's much higher than cars. So overall, if you're flying versus driving a car and you want to look at the percentage of dying when you're in an accident, from flying, it's 1 in 10,000, and driving in a car, it's 1 in 114 chance of dying when you're in an accident. So again, that might help reduce your stress and put you at ease, hopefully, maybe not, maybe. Another thing you should do is take adaptogens. Uh, I, I put a link down below of, of a good one that I recommend. These are herbal things that help you uh, relax. And the other thing is to do controlled breathing. Whether your inhalation or exhalation is too short or too long, you want to even these out. So you're breathing in just as much as you're breathing out. Uh, that can really help uh, calm you down. And the other thing to do is start fasting because when you're fasting, you actually pull yourself out of the flight fight mode and that can help you. So don't eat frequent meals, don't eat sugar, don't eat the snacks because that's going to also dehydrate you. So you want to do fasting through the whole flight, which will definitely uh, strengthen you and make you feel better mood wise with enough fluids with electrolytes to prevent dehydration, which can then also cause a headache. So these are just a few tips that you can uh, use but also watch the video on relaxation. I think that can help you greatly. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.